Hey guys, so I did a Walmart grocery pickup today because um, my slippies and I want to be lazy today, not do anything. So um, the budget was 150, but we only spent like 130 something, 138, 137. I don't know. So anywho, I did get almost everything on my list. There was one thing. Um whipped cream so I wanted like the whip topping mix that you like the powder mix that you mix with milk and it up forever and it makes whipped cream but they didn't have that and they tried to substitute it with marshmallow fluff not even remotely the same thing um frozen whipped topping would have actually been the same as whipped topping but you know whatever it's Walmart those people don't know anything so um there was another substitution. What was it? Mm. I don't remember. Honestly. Anywho. Maybe I'll think of it. Hmm. I approved one and I denied one. So. I don't know. But anywho. Let's get started. Um needed paper towels I wasn't gonna buy any but um one of the dogs puked and I don't want to clean that up with rags and things so cleaning it up with toilet paper was kind of complicated so we got paper towels uh cornflakes for oh gosh cornflakes for the honey cinnamon crunch frosted mini wheats Needed some Dawn dish soap and gallon freezer bags because gallon freezer bags is what we like split up the meat and freeze it in or the big chunks of cheese we cut up and put them in there, you know. Uh, needed some dryer sheets and just a couple things of cat food to get us by until next week. Um, this week's paychecks were short, so it's the cash stuffing, you, which you've probably already seen by the time this comes out but it was not great. So we got three gallons of milk to her in the fridge. Always need more ranch. Um, heavy whipping cream because I'm gonna make a chicken parmesan. Yeah, I didn't even show you the meal plan. Shut the front door. Okay, um, a giant creamer for my honey. Barbecue sauce, cause we always run out and then I have to run out and get some more. Uh, cinnamon rolls. The caramel bits and apples are gonna make something special. So I might, if I make that for breakfast today, I will just make it and put it on the end of this video. So stick around. Uh, ragu, let me, let me, hold on. Let me get my meal plan. This'll make more sense. So, um, the caramel apple cinnamon rolls thing I was gonna make for dinner one night but I might make it for breakfast today um, we already have all of this stuff from last week we didn't make taco stuff we still have and the kielbasa stuff we still have so chicken alfredo oh lazy lasagna was what the spaghetti sauce what are you doing there <laughs> Anywho. oh and the drumsticks we had so I have half the stuff that I need for this week. But anyhow. Okay, continue. Need some more Parmesan cheese for Alfredo sauce. That's what I was doing. Chicken Alfredo. So that's what the heavy whipping cream and the Parmesan are for. Um, cottage cheese is for the lazy lasagna. This is going to be the boys' snack options for the week. Needed some mozzarella for probably lazy lasagna um roast beef because we never get roast beef so got that more chicken breast they did not have the ham that we like um we like jam because it is easier to spread the cherries i am making a cherry delight which is basically a glorified cheesecake for thanksgiving which is what powdered sugar is for the caramel bits are for the cinnamon roll thing. Needed potatoes because we're also going to make mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving to take. Eggs. And let me tell you, they put all kinds of heavy stuff in the same bag with the eggs. Get better, Walmart. 
uh, bologna. Yes, it's bologna. I know. Bologna. Apples and Honeycrisp are my favorite. That also goes with the cinnamon roll things. I got fresh heads of broccoli this time because the way that I'm going to do the chicken alfredo is going to be a low carb version for me. And I'm going to make pasta for the fam. Uh, cream cheese also goes in the Cherry Delight. This did not order, but hey, we need lettuce for tacos, so thanks, Walmart. Um, mushrooms, because I needed more mushrooms for the, the chicken, marinated chicken with peppers, mushrooms, and feta. These are going to be the Honey's um, lunches for the week. We've not tried these. They're in the deli section, so hopefully he will enjoy so that was everything and they did i mean everything except for the one thing on my list mm. what was it what was it oh yeah the whip topping that's it oh what was the other thing they substituted oh i don't even know apples parmesan broccoli pasta i don't know i can't even see what what it was I don't even know probably something that's not on my list that I just saw and I added it so there's all of that and uh, 138 ish dollars I want to say so um, stick around and I will make I am I'm gonna make that cinnamon roll breakfast thing so watch out for that okay so I got this off of a Facebook reel so you take your two cans of cinnamon rolls, cut them into fourths, spread them on the bottom of a sprayed baking dish. Take your chopped apples, sprinkle them all over. Chopped, chopped apples. Sorry. What? It's a cinnamon roll thing. Mm-hmm. And it looked amazing. Yeah, it's like, it's got cinnamon rolls and apples. Oh, those are good. You spread out your apples. If you want more apples, make more apples. You know, whatever, cut them up. And then it says to take a half cup of the caramel bits. But, yeah, I don't know. That'll, that'll be it. Sprinkle them in. Sorry, I'm trying to look around the phone and keep the phone on at the same time, but, you know. If you want more, put more. Because, you know. Quack. I'll hold the phone. I got it. I got it. Oh, I'm trying to be my cameraman. You know, we like caramel, so we'll just throw. Oh, get that. No, not for the dog. Look, he's down there like a vulture just waiting. So, you put this in. 350 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes and then yeah and then you I thought you wanted like a nope. whole apple <laughs> at the end you'll put the, the, the stuff <laughs> the frosting over the top so I will show you that when it's done here is the uh, cinnamon apple cinnamon roll caramel apple cinnamon roll yeah breakfast that we were making and I have two of these. I haven't got the other one open yet, but you just take it, drizzle your icing all across it. Yes. And that's breakfast, guys. So let me know below if you give it a go or if you've had it. I did find it on a Facebook reel, so. See you next time. Okay, I think I'm gonna throw this video on the end of my grocery haul as another meal plan thing that I'm doing this week. So I got some chicken breasts in the oven, marinated in mm, McCormick's Zesty Herb. Not my favorite marinade. My favorite marinade is Carolina Country and they don't even make it anymore. So whatever, we try different things. So we got the chicken going. In here I have chopped up, oh, SMR, some chopped up peppers, um, bell peppers, chopped up mushrooms, and I know you're not supposed to crowd the mushrooms, but that's okay. And a whole 
heaping ton of butter and some of the marinade is in here. So I'm going to mix all this, um, saute these up for a while until they're soft and, you know, caramelized or whatever that word is. So I'm going to do that and then serve it over top of the chicken breast with some feta cheese on top. Mm, chef's kiss. It's amazing. I will show you what it looks like. Don't know if we're doing a side yet because I didn't think that far ahead. I don't usually ever do it with a side, but I don't ever usually make it for my kids too. So we'll see. I'll be back. Okay, so this is the chicken. It's under there, trust me. The peppers, mushrooms, and um, the feta. This is my plate. That's a boy's. I made them rice on the side. Nothing for me, because I'm trying to get back into my low carb, which just naturally turns into low calorie, I think. So anyhow, there's that. Let me know.